Hey guys, Footy Manager TV here and welcome to episode number 11 on my Bar City Law League Management playthrough in Football Manager 2015 and the previous episode was an absolutely fantastic win in the FA Cup fourth qualifying round to uh, help us reach the FA Cup first rounds uh, against Burton today. It's going to be very, very tough to get a victory here uh, considering, <laughs> uh, yeah, the Eighth in Skybet League 2. It's going to be a challenge for us. And just look at their key player, Phil Edwards. Can give you a gauge on how rated they are. How, yeah, how their players are rated compared to ours. But anyway, there's something I have to talk about. I, You know, I said in that episode, I was going to record the next episode, the three games. Well, you can see those games are played already. Unfortunately, I wasn't too happy with how it went. Um, Result-wise, of course, but more so reaction-wise from myself. Um, I don't want to be uploading content to YouTube that is not a reflection of myself and how I want to play the game and to show my personality within Football Manager. It doesn't um, doesn't show well in those games. And yeah, once you really do or say something, uh, people always like to hold on that to Football Manager. Uh, you could say you could have edited that part out, but unfortunately it was during goals and yeah, during parts it wasn't possible to edit out. So I hope you do understand that. And I guess it does show that I don't reload games and I do lose because I always get troll comments from those when it's pretty obvious I don't uh, because, yeah, I pl actually play every single game. And the ones I didn't hear, I didn't get a win in. Two losses, embarrassing losses, and a draw as well. So that's I want to give reasoning behind that. Um, I hope you understand. Uh, but yeah, I don't think you wouldn't have joined. It's a good. Uh, it's it was the right decision because you wouldn't have enjoyed it. Um, I didn't enjoy it myself. If I uploaded that video, I would be embarrassed of it. So, uh, yeah, I got to be honest. I wouldn't be wanting to upload videos uh, like that. But nonetheless, it wasn't very impressive. Um, needless to say, to say, I wanted to rest a lot of players. I wanted to rest a lot of players for this FA Cup game, but that was more so the yeah, St. Albans. You can see I'm playing a guy like maybe Brandon Dugan, who else? Uh, Jim Rollo, Phil Walsh. Uh, but yeah, you can't hide away from it. It was, yeah, poor results, but we just got to move on. That was a couple days ago now. I took a break from recording it for a bit. You need that in Football Manager, so... The bright side is, those are just a couple results. We're still first. But it does show we have gone on poor form. Uh, but it was out of the blue. It was really out of the blue, those losses. I'm sure you're surprised. You're like, wow, we lost by that much. And yeah, I said it that in that, but probably in harsher terms. But it was definitely out of the blue. You probably wouldn't have seen. Especially, yeah, three home games as well. Yeah, it's definitely out of the blue. Especially after beating Barnett 3-0. So yeah, I just had, uh, in short, I probably said that in harsher terms. Those results were very out of the blue. And a few other things as well. But um, like I said, that's okay. And also, I'm back to my uh, Scorpio skin, the latest update of that. It's actually the beta version, to be honest. And also, before I get into the game, I just want to give you a short update. Um, you'll notice I'm uploading a lot of videos recently that I'm saying I'm streaming. I am trying to uh, start streaming a lot now as I have my settings and all that stuff pretty correct. There's no lag, stuff with audio, which there was. I fixed that, so that's all good. Uh, but saying that, uh, I'm probably not going to much from now. I am, I think, going to think tomorrow or later today, depending when I upload this video. And that will be it for maybe a week or something. It really depends because I'm going to be spending time with family over Christmas, not going to be home, going to see some family, you know, the drill <laughs> around Christmas. But after that, like, I'm not sure if I'll come back, like, late in December or whatever, but maybe next year, like early January, that's when, yeah, I really want to keep going with it. Because I've got like over 2,000 followers on there now. So I think I might as well. So yeah, I did want to say that. And with videos as well. I'm going to try and record a lot today and tomorrow. So I can have, yeah, videos to upload. But if you don't see me uploading heaps and heaps, I hope you understand why over the Christmas period. And it might be nice for me to take a break as well. But this is the team we're going in with. Like, I expect, judging off the recent results, like the games I played previously, I don't expect it to be an easy game at all. We'll probably lose and maybe embarrassingly considering our last game, <laughs> uh, to be honest. But the positive sign, it's a home game and we're going to get good ticket sales from it. Where are we compared to recent games? What's the big difference? Uh, yeah, 3,000. Well, it's not a big difference. It's still, well, it's still the most without a doubt. Uh, so it's going to be good for us. It's going to be good. So we're going in with no expectations whatsoever. So I'm not really 
Like, no, I've gotten to the first round. That's that's further than we are expected. Um, you can see David Pratt. <laughs> Where I just want to see the board confidence first. Board confidence. Uh, yeah, no, the conference south. Look at our look at our confidence there with the board for the conference south. Where we expected. Yeah, they just wanted to, us to reach the fourth qualifying round of the FA Cup, which was the previous rounds. But now we're in the first round of F, of the FA Cup against a team that's two leagues above us. And you can see how much they're favoured to win this. But who knows? We are at home. Maybe we could just... Be, maybe with a bit of luck. Maybe something to go our way. So if we just take out their strikers, like Adam McGurk came through the Aston Villa Academy, uh, but then he dropped... Uh, kind of to a sky bet League One level. So still as a professional footballer, so that's he's still a talented player. Uh, he's 25 now, though. And then Stuart Bevan, a uh, pretty good striker. So we're going to have to be... <laughs> we're going to have to be amazing, but then we're going to need heaps of luck at the same time. But I believe in my players. I do believe in my players. And uh, did I show you the injuries as well? Uh, we've got Jordan Sherman injured, Slocum injured, and Dan Ball. That left back situation was hor that was just a horror. It was a horror. That's why yeah, Galinar's playing there. So that probably affected the results as well. Yeah, playing there's certain players out of position, but you got to roll on with that, and we're going to do that here. Come on, lads. If we win this, would be absolutely insane. But I'm not expecting at all. I'm content with how we've done with this run in the FA Cup. And hopefully that could put us on good stead to maybe actually win the FA Trophy, which is obviously up to conference sides. So we might have a chance there. I expect to see a better performance. Not just to win, not winning. Just expect to see a better performance. Okay, some motivating reactions. That is there. And also I've put the match thing stats, or the match stats thing here. Um, so you can yeah see the possession and all other interesting things, which I feel is wise to do. But generally I don't like too much of those stuff. So that's why I just put one there, not heaps of others. But hopefully that is all right. So a big chance here for my players to impress me and turn things around and they score already like that. <laughs> that's what I mean. Yeah, that was a special goal. Stuart Bevan, not luck at all. That's not a lucky goal. That's a quality goal, uh, without a doubt. But my expectations are lowered. It's not like a previous game, like a league game. Um, I'm definitely not expecting to win this. So I won't be mad when I concede. Usually I get pretty mad, but yep, not mad about that. That was just a quality strike. Uh, not much Yeah, my players could have done about that. And now they've got a corner. Come on, get rid of it. Oh, good save. Oh, oh. <laughs> wow. Lucas Atkins, make a 2-0 and it's basically over in 10 minutes. I don't think there's no turning back from here. But this was always going to happen. Uh, when you're facing a team that's yeah one of the better teams in two leagues above you, they're about eighth, so they want to try and push to that like playoff places, uh, possibly. And especially when we're not playing well in recent times, last three games uh, haven't been ourselves. Um, this is a it's a result that I'm not surprised. Oh, I see Ward just missed it, and then they score. We are being humiliated here, and it's just because. Well, it's a mix of a couple of things. Like I said, um, our poor recent form, um, we, a lot of my players have lost their confidence and morale, and then um, attribute difference as well. I showed you like Bevan and that. Uh, they look way better than our players, and they're unfortunately uh, showing that here today. I don't want to go like attacking because, or oh, I might have to, but it could, it could end up being embarrassing for us. But here's the problem. Um, Mar like, our morale is going to take a huge hit. And McGurk, see, they, he just dribbles past him. Uh, we'll go attacking now. Uh, I know we're not going to win this, especially the way things are going. And you think if we go attacking, uh, like, <laughs> they just keep having chance after chance. It's Bevan. Oh, good save. That was a good save. Well done. Now it's McCrory. Oh, Mallor, another good save. Well done. Maybe other shots he could have done better. Uh, but, yeah, got to give credit to him. He's been good. Maybe if we can score here, Pratt. Maybe. And they just clear with ease. Walsh. Come on, do better. Adelsbury. We did win it. <laughs> like, it just wasn't too convincing, if I'm honest. Mallor. Hits it up forward. 
Nah, they can't. They're not winning those 50-50s, um, those one-on-one -on -one battles. That's where we're losing out here. Now McGurk's on, and he blazes away. But they've absolutely killed us. Seven clear-cut chances. And if, uh, unfortunately, uh, yeah, like when you play against a team two leagues above you, there's not much you can do about it, <laughs> to be honest. If you actually want to win the game, you can go all out, park the bus, but that's just letting, yeah, letting them attack you for the whole game. So I'm going to say aggressively, that was absolutely terrible. It motivates them. But again, you can't be too hopeful when you're playing against a team. Imagine if we played like against a Premier League team or something, we would get absolutely killed. So yeah, I think it's it would be safe to lose here. If even if we go further, play against a better team, maybe a championship side. Imagine yeah, how much we we'll lose by. Might be like ten nil or something. It would be very embarrassing. But if we score here, make it respectable. Make it respectable. Prats, well done. He can score anywhere, even if it's a team two leagues above us. You got to give credit where credit is due for David Pratt. Ross Stern as well, whipped in the dangerous cross, and it just fell to him. Maybe they could have done better. Uh, their manager probably wouldn't be happy with that. David Pratt maybe gives us a glimmer of hope. Do we get some hope with that? Maybe. Maybe we just have to make some changes. We're, we're in like within a two-goal reach. Let's bring on Junior English, who's been one of our better players. We'll take Adelsbury off. Frankie Artis to come off as well. We'll bring on ba uh, Brandon Dugin. And also, Nick McCootie has been pretty poor. We'll bring on Chas Hemmings with his heading ability. And we'll just push the wingers up a little bit. There we go. Maybe this will do something. Maybe this will give us a chance. We have to. Go we might as well go for it, yeah? We might as well. And... What I will add into instruction is, what are we going to do? Pump ball into the box uh, for Hemmings. Uh, definitely. Anything else? Nah, not really. We'll see how this goes, though. What's uh, Alan's best role? Yeah, central midfielder. That's where it is. Can you put a central midfielder on attack? Yeah, we'll put on attack. Just put him forward a bit more. Come on, lad. Show me what you can do here. Again, uh, I'm not expecting them to come back. I just want to show... I want them to show and at least play well. That's what I want to see. So, yeah, confidence can go into next league games for that. That's what I want to see. But you gotta, you got to credit them for going, going this far. Oh, well, I was just scared. Like, I started there because, yeah, they had an injury. I thought it was us. And then, that, yeah, they score. Uh, that's probably the story of the day. Uh, them winning those one-on-one -on -one battles, as I said earlier. That's been the story of the day, pretty much. Um, like when it comes down to a 50-50 yeah, like battle there, it goes down to attribute difference. And that's, yeah, like the story of the day, like I said. But here we could score. Walsh! We've got two goals. Oh, it's offside. Oh, that's, not, that's unlucky. That's unlucky, but... Yeah, I, I'm, I'm treating this in a more kind of, I don't know, f like, no expectations, really. I knew we weren't going to win this game. It was just, it was a tad unrealistic. I didn't want to really put my, get my hopes up too much because then it would have shown in my reactions that I would have got bad reactions, like I said, um, and yeah, not what you want to listen to. So just taking a realistic tone and not expecting to win this game because if I did, yeah, I would be more disappointed than I am. I knew we weren't going to win this game, like I said. Um, attribute difference um, show today like I said with the 50-50 battles that's why they won them the majority of the time but I'm going to say assertively I'm going to say they gave it their best but they they obviously that's that's a reaction you'll see obviously they won't listen to that they're just disappointed they lost but David Pratt he's on top equal with Jake Spate for the go top goal scorers I'm happy with him for that he put in his best effort even today scored um, my team and he did their best. You have to be proud of them. So here, Noah Keats, uh, he wants to talk about personal matters. Like, he wants to play first-team football, pretty much. That's the code for that. Uh, you're right. I'll just say, yeah, I'll give you a shot now. Especially <laughs> as we've been playing pretty poorly. So we'll go through the homepage here. But look at the amazing positive that has come out of this FA Cup run. Our balance is 140k now. That is amazing. 
And now, our focus, well, I'll say, at least for our next three games, the focus can be on the league and to make sure we get back on the tr on track and, like, keep winning and make sure we finish first this season, the automatic promotion. We're still in, I suppose, Boar and Wood. We're, we're on the same points, but we've got a better goal difference. So a game against them would be important. Uh, but apart from, yeah, the other teams or compared to the other teams, we're, yeah, getting a bit away from them. So that's a good thing. Um, we obviously have a game at the, against them at some point. You can see around there. But FA Trophy, that's what I'm gunning for. I want to actually go for a win there. I reckon we could. How we performed, uh, we beat a uh, conference side 3-0, uh, uh, Barnett, in the previous game. Uh, we do have the ability as long as we're on good form. So we're going to have to show that over the next few. And we got, yeah, we actually do have Boran Wood in the FA Trophy. So it's not going to be an easy game. They're actually clearly favourites because of our current form. But we have a chance now we're against Maidenhead at home, we, who are seventh overall in the league. Uh, then Ebbs Fleet away from home, who are 16th, should be winning against them. And also Calmsford, they are ninth. So a couple of interesting games there. Uh, but we're looking to win. But yeah, that's what FA Cup run could do. And it's a realistic FA Cup run. I went as far as I realistically could. Maybe if I got a better draw, because there are probably some easier teams, but uh, we got the cards we were dealt. And yeah, I went as far as I could, I think. That's the furthest I've ever gone, actually, in lower league management, if FA Cup. Yeah, in FA Cup. So I am happy with that. I knew, you could probably tell with my uh, really tone throughout the match, I knew, yeah, the time was up for me, and I knew I kind of was going to get around this money. So I was actually happy with that. Um, I wonder if I can yeah, ask to get more wage but i did it already so i don't think so yeah i can't but yeah 140k uh what's our club looking like now in terms of finances yeah look at that estimated value 814 it's almost up to a million i'm not sure if that's normal is that normal because i don't want to overreact but a almost a million valued if we can go yeah if we can actually win the fa trophy and get the money um every single round after that like we could <laughs> the club could be at a million. That could be a real good sign. But balance is only 140k compared to that. But I say only. I'm far away. Usually around this time, I'm being in the red or close to being in the red. Yeah, usually I'm in, I'm, I am in the red because I don't go this far in the FA Cup. But we did and I'm in a strong position for that. So, of course, recent results haven't been good. But um, the overall scheme of things, uh, league position uh, first with a better goal difference and... Yeah, the money we have produced from that run is exactly what I wanted. I've wanted to do that for a real long time in lower league management. This is the first time I've really yeah, made a good difference and haven't been in the red at this stage. So I did what I could and I'm pleased about that. Um, hopefully, uh, we can push on though uh, because these have been some yeah pretty average performances and bad results. So I'll be looking to turn that around. If you have anything to... Yeah, suggestion to turn it around. Of course, we've been amazing this season. Do you think I should just keep at it? Because we have been amazing, like I said. It's just, yeah, a dip in form, which does happen in lower league management. But either way, I hope you enjoyed the episode, and I'll see you guys next time.